What's up, What's up, my nigga? You the hardest nigga. nigga I'm from on D block, nigga. You gotta be out, the real D block. You got to be What's the up, hardest happen? nigga? I'm gonna talk to today. Fam, I'm. I don't know. What, I don't know about the mother niggas, but I'm in hell, thriving. Like nigga, this, this for real. This, these the bars. This, this what 13 years in prison look like. Bitch, I'm crazy. I'm bitch a baby, a baby with a A for the money chain, man. I'm a wolf with the rabies. We not the same beast. My lane gun tang, G, my gang bang. Be more custom. On September 18th, 1986, Benjamin Underwood, aka Money, would make his way into the world with his mother Itchy, who was a lady foe, handcuffed to a bed at the Dwight Correctional Center in Livingston County, Illinois. Okay, what prison was that? Um, I had him in Dwight. And some of us was meant to go through this shit. Like, I, like, you know, I was born in prison. You know what I'm saying? My mama was in prison when she had me. And they cut me out of her. After his birth, Money ended up going to stay with his auntie on 27th and State in the Dearborn Projects. He would come up in the 2731 building. He wouldn't be united with his mom again until the age of five. Money never knew his father. The only thing that he knew is that at one point he went by the name of Vino Vince and that he was an Italian guy from the north side that wasn't scared to come into the Rockwell projects. And according to some that knew him shortly, they say the money actually got his attitude from Vino Vince. Coming up in the projects, it was only two options. Either you was gonna starve, or you was gonna find a way to make a loaf of bread and feed the family with it. Well, this is actually how money got his name. When he was younger, he would save his food stamps. And those food stamps would add up. And after a while, those food stamps were turning to good meals. Coming up, Money struggled to find a stable living condition. He would move from house to house and from school to school. One year, he went to 10 different schools. When Money's mother, Itchy, got on her feet in an attempt to save her children, she would take Money and some of his siblings to Kentucky. Money hated Kentucky with a passion. And at the age of 15, he would make the biggest choice of his life. He would decide to leave the nest and become a man. He went back to Chicago by himself, and he would end up in Rockwell Projects, where he would eventually be blessed into the traveling vice lords by a guy that went by the name of John John, who came up on the T-Fly. If you know, then you know. Kids, that shit y'all rap about, them niggas rap about, I don't mean to sound arrogant, but I'll never get this opportunity again. I'm him, and I don't mean to say it like that. Not only did he make his mind up about being out on his own, but he also made his mind up about being broke. Money had decided that he would live up to his nickname. It was time to get some money, and the TVLs knew exactly how to do that. Money would get involved in the streets heavy, but mostly he was a money maker, a hustler. That's mostly what it was about in the era that he came up in. Music also eventually became a big part of his life. He came up listening to Tupac, Biggie, Jay-Z, Jadakiss, 50 Cent, and Lil Wayne. This would make him want to rap, and him and his cousins will end up coming up with a rap group. The name of the group was Wicktown ENT, and it was compiled of family members and longtime friends. They came up making beats on laptops and freestyling. Money was actually the best freestyler out of the group, and he was offered a major deal before he got locked up, but he ended up turning it down because the label just wanted him and not his group, and he wanted to stay loyal to his group. This same rap group will end up testifying against Money in court, Two teenagers are being sought as persons of interest after a 21-year-old Elkhart man was shot to death Monday night in his home. According to Elkhart police, officers were called at 8 p.m. to a home at 17 West Wolf Street when it was reported that a man was shot. Police found Ricky D. Hines, 21, suffered from multiple gunshot wounds. Hines was taken to Elkhart General Hospital, where he was pronounced dead a short time later. An autopsy will be performed later. After starting an investigation, police developed two persons of interest. They are Kiana Barner and Benjamin Underwood, both 19. Police said the teenagers were both present and involved in some sort of altercation with the victim before the shooting took place. Both teens were seen fleeing the shooting in a vehicle. Money ended up linking up with a girl named Kiana in Elkhart, Indiana. He had a son by her. They would get down one time and she would get pregnant. They really never had a relationship. She had a boyfriend that used to like to beat on her. The situation came up. 
about him beating on her in front of Money's son. Him and Money talked about it, and everything was cool. He said that he wouldn't do it anymore. Money wouldn't get involved because it was none of his business. But on March 16th, 2009, after Ricky Hines threw his two-year-old child across the floor into a table, he would get involved. At some point on the evening of March 16th, 2009, Kiana Bonner got into an altercation with her boyfriend, Ricky Hines. At some point, Hines threw KU, the two-year-old child that Bonner had with former boyfriend Underwood, across the floor into a table. After Bonner left with her, KU and her niece, she found Underwood and told him that Hines had put his hands on KU. Bonner's intent was to get Hines' ass beat and have Underwood to do it. Brandon and Daniel Roby, Tiara Dean witnessed the conversation. Brandon Roby described Bonner as being in a rage. Dean described her as hysterical and like blowing up. And Daniel observed that she was crying and she was yelling and screaming. As a result of the conversation, Underwood became visibly upset and Dean vainly attempted to calm him down by putting his hands on him. Bonner, her niece, KU, and Underwood drove to Hines home in a pickup truck and Bonner called Hines on a mobile telephone and told him to come outside. When Hines came outside, he and Underwood began to fight. Meanwhile, a car containing Brandon, Daniel, and Dean pulled up. At some point, Underwood had Hines on the ground and was choking him when Bonner caused Underwood to release him. Hines picked up a big brick and was maneuvering it around Underwood, but not blocking his retreat. As the two men were yelling at each other, Underwood pulled out a gun and everybody was yelling no. Underwood hesitated and looked toward the car containing the Robies and Dean, but then looked back at Hines and shot him. As Hines turned and ran, Underwood shot him again, and Hines died of the multiple gunshot wounds. KU, who was seated in a nearby pickup truck, was able to see the entire incident. Ain't seen my son, nigga seen my son twice, 12 years, locked up for my baby. Huh, her boyfriend fight. What little boys do? He jump in and help his mama. I beat this nigga up in the rap group, tell on me, my cousins. Family tell on me, testify against me. They tried to convict and sentence me to the joint, nigga, in six months. Six months since they caught me. I was trying to go to South America. Six months they tried to convict and sentence me to the joint. Nigga, I ain't had I, I, one family member been here. They look at me like shit. Money gonna take care of himself. We don't need to be with that with him. I'm, if I'm gonna be in hell, I'm gonna be the devil. After all the smoke had cleared and everything was said and done, Money ended up being the prime suspect in the murder case. He went on a run for a little while, but he eventually got caught. Within six months, Money was in court on trial, facing almost 90 years with his family ready to testify against him with his clothes on. My nigga, I'm in Indiana State Penitentiary. I've been locked up 13 years in the joint for my baby. Watch my rap group testify against me with my clothes on. I'm chiefing this bitch. Damn. I don't mean the front, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but nah, nah, I feel they, know, they hear my shit in my music. No doubt. You, what you, where, where you report live from? From hell. When you oh. talking, you talking to niggas like me. It's time for niggas like me to go on rap. I'm doing this shit here. You, these the boss. No doubt. And these VVS's? Hard. You're the hardest nigga. I just, you, you incredible, bro. And just like that, Ricky Hines was dead. And instead of receiving self-defense, Money would find himself on trial for his life. A jury deliberated about two and a half hours Wednesday before convicting the young Elkhart man of murder. Benjamin Underwood, 20, was accused of shooting Ricky Hines to death in a fight March 16th in that city. Five witnesses testified that Underwood shot Hines during the fight but Underwood took the witness stand and told the jury another version of what happened the night Hines died. The jury returned verdicts of guilty to the murder charge as well as one of conspiracy to commit aggravated battery. Underwood faces a prison term of up to 85 years when he returns to Elkhart Circuit Court on November 5th. Money would be sentenced to 64 years, do 32, get out in 25. Not only had he received a lot of time, in a case where he felt like it should have been self-defense. He had to sit and watch his family members testify against him, literally in the courtroom wearing his clothes. Money would go to prison like a man and take his time, but this wouldn't be the last that we would hear of Money. The fact that Money's family members, which was also a part of his rap group, had told on him made him not even want to rap no more. And for 10 years, he wouldn't even write any bars. Money would get into a lot of stuff while locked up. Out of 13 years, he would actually do eight in a hole. And during his stay, Money has caught four bodies. Money is currently in solitary confinement. 
But the things that he's accomplished since he's been in solitary confinement is the thing that blew my mind the most. And it obviously blew Jada Kiss's mind as well because Money managed to put together an album hosted by Jada Kiss. And out of my 32 years, I've never seen nothing like it. I didn't rap in 10 years. How, so I had like, no like this is what I'm trying to figure out. Like, like, because I keep hearing you say that you haven't rapped for 10 years. A nigga took a 10 year hiatus, but came back. Stupid though. Like, was that process to get it back? Was it like they say, like riding a bike? Was it hard? Was it what would you think you bounce back because of the pain? Because of the struggle? What? Talk, what, what? We naturally, trying to figure. Naturally, rap. That was the easy part. Okay. I could bust out rapping and drop off a hat. You okay. know what I'm saying? If I got a subject, if my heart is it, if I die, because I'm not making up shit to rap about. I'm, I'm just reflecting on the shit I've seen, done, or, or most likely it happened to me. So I'm just reflecting on the memory, and I'm just putting that into the rhythm. So the rapping part was easy. Quarter, hearing your voice, mm. finding your voice, okay. when you haven't yelled or talked for nothing in 12, 13 years for argument and aggression and wishing and bone. Well, you haven't been a regular person or a supervisor at a job and can tell somebody, hey, go over there. And you know how to speak with a loud tone without yelling. An authoritative voice, huh? All that shit. Mm. Nah, and I learned it on the go. What Every you mean? Song, yeah, better, better. I just want some humbug shit. Do you ever stop rolling? <laughs> About seven months ago, Money dropped a project called If These Walls Could Talk. In this project, Money was basically getting his mind and his voice right for what he would do next. A month ago, he would drop his newest project, Money Been Mike, and where he would get a shout out from College Kid and have Jadakiss featured on it as the host. I'm being super bad, but I ain't wanna go. I mean, cool, used to get our work from coma. But I love my mom, because ain't no switching. Ain't no, ain't no, you gotta, when you dedicated, you dedicated so I teach and I lead and I feed these niggas. I'm in the hole and I stabbed and one of mine committing treason, talking about my position. That's nation business, nigga. If I'm going to be here, bro, I'm going to be here. They get, be home, be good, come home. Money going to get you out once you sentence. Mm -hmm. You got to talk to them people. Ain't no, ain't no be good, ain't no go to the programs and nigga, they took away weights, milk, school. I got my college degree. I got the barber's license. I've been at 13. Some people told me. I should explain what Money Ben Mike is. Ben is me. Money is me. Mike is me. D Mark got the E. Ben is my soul. Mike the hustler to keep us together. But Money the killer. He the crap And Money Ben crazy. Chicago rapper Ben Money's prison stand hasn't stopped him from dropping new music. Ben Money has been serving his time in Indiana for the past 12 years. Somehow, he's been able to drop quality sound and music from behind bars. His latest project, Money Ben Mike, features 10 brand new tracks, including very honest single intro. Ben Money reveals that Money Ben Mike represents his three personalities. Money is the hustler, Ben is the lost soul, White Mike is the killer, but also the crybaby. In the intro, Ben Money appears to not be trusted. He raps, I'm smoking niggas I smoke with, I'm hunting my best friends. I'm busting at old homies. As we delve deeper into the song, we see why Ben Money trusts no one. His own family members testified against him. He's only seen his son twice in 12 years. This record gets pretty deep. I'm kissing them nads, I'm fucking them scales, I'm flooding the city. Box calling the shots, I'm ringing the bells, my whole in the city. So with my OG, she learning some skills on the king of the Kimmy. Got five different lines and they all in the grams, they think that I'm winning. But they really ain't sure, they really can't tell, but they really some bitches. They come out, they pull it, they is who they is, I'm in here to win it. I came in prepared, I'm not here to feel, fuck your feelings. They already know it is what it is, I'm back on my videos. Wow, Money Ben Mike, hosted by Jadakiss. Y'all get up on that. Y'all ain't up on that right now. Stupid y'all get up on hosted that. Hosted by who? Jadakiss, hosted by who? Top yeah. five dead alive. In any nigga bracket, you know what I'm saying? Top five dead alive, but... I'm chief in this bitch. I don't know about the mother, mother niggas, but I'm in here. Let's get right into it.
been shark slayin' Shoot my stupid in the water, I been shark slayin' It's the- Mmm, it's time for us to get some jewelry He like, yeah, I just got a phone with a jeweler I'm like, a jeweler? I'm like, we didn't got that motherfucking big if we had a jeweler? He like, I'm not humongous sure. He takes me back, humongous Humongous, baby So I'm like, I'm ready Hey, kids I've been on you since I was a shorty, my nigga. Tupac raised me. I paid a thousand dollars to get clothes in for my birthday last month, nigga. Just so I could put my music, push my music. Fuck a label. I'm finna do this shit myself, my oh, nigga. I'm gonna no. buy myself out of the joint, my nigga. Let's make it hard, His project, Money Ben Mike, is the ultimate mixture of love, pain, and betrayal. Mike expresses his real feelings on the project and the fact that he was able to have Jada Kiss host it from a prison cell in solitary confinement makes it a classic and it definitely makes him legendary. Mike being confined to a cell never stopped him from moving on with his life and progressing. And even though he's been in situations while in jail, he still managed to stay free on the inside. And when I say the inside, I mean on the inside of his mind. But in 2021, Mike has set another goal He's done just about everything there is to do and accomplished just about everything there is to accomplish in jail. He wears VVS diamonds, jewelry. He eats what he wants to eat. He gets cologne, shoes, clothes. But in 2021, his new mindset is freedom. And I think that what we can learn from the story of money is this. Always think before you react. Money had a very good cause to do what he did. I don't know too many men that wouldn't have did the same exact thing, including me. The circumstances and the situation was just off. Never do anything that can jeopardize your life and get you a lot of time in front of nobody, no matter how much you love them, no matter how much y'all are cool. Also, never let your current situation determine your overall destination. Money has been locked up 13 years. He's still able to reach out and touch the people. He feels as though the people have forgot about him. So he reached out to SN TV because he already know real recognize real. And I asked Money, was there a message that he wanted to give the people? And this was his message. All right, bro. Now, what is it that, that, that money wants? What you really want the world to know? Bro? What's Man, name? I want the world to know my name. I want the world to know my pain, but I want the world to understand that starting today, man, I'm going to hold accountability for myself. Them niggas snitch. Them niggas did what they, what they was going to do anyway. But me me training myself the way I did coming from Chicago streets and going other places was, was, was a... Was a uh, was a flaw, but I want the world to know, nigga, I ain't dead. You know what I'm saying? I'm striving. I'm trying my best to come home. I'm trying my best to stay alive. I'm Chicago's. I'm Chicago's own. You know what I'm saying? My mama took me from Chicago, and I ran away from her and went back to Chicago on my own. When she took us from Kentucky, I'm Chicago's. I need them to know me. I need them to come help me. I need them to come save me because I, I'm going to do it myself. You know what I'm saying? I want them to know, man, that I'm a father. I'm a, I'm a father before anything. I don't want to be that man. I want to be a man. You know what I'm saying? I want them to know, man, I'm striving for peace, Joe. I'm trying to be a better man. Every day I wake up, I'm trying to be better than I was yesterday. I'm trying to I'm trying to grow. I'm trying to evolve. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you got to evolve to erupt. Life, either you evolve or you erupt. But sometimes you got to erupt to evolve. When a volcano erupts and that lava dry, that's new land. No matter where it goes, that's new land. That's, that makes that volcano bigger and bigger. Every time they erupt and they dry up, it makes it bigger and bigger. So I had to erupt to grow. Cause that's just where we come from, but Joe, it, it, it ain't, it ain't, I ain't the average. I ain't letting, I ain't gonna let this whoop on me, man. I got them degrees, I got them licenses, them barber licenses, them, them, them culinary arts joints. I got all that, Joe. I want to be free. I want to be able to be in my son's life. I want the world to know that I'm alive. I've been gone 13 years. I only seen family once. I only seen my son twice. Don't ask nobody for nothing. I'm 45 minutes away from where I was born and raised at. And some of us was meant to go through this shit. Like, I, like, you know, I was born in prison. You know what I'm saying? My mama was in prison when she had me. And they cut me out of her. So I, I want the world to know I'm alive, yo. Like, don't don't forget on me. Don't whoop on me because I because I was a father. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot. All our city is known for is bullshit. I'm one of our lost childs. I'm one of our goldens. 
And I know that. Money also wanted me to know that he needs female companionship. I'm gonna need my ladies to hit me in the DM to get his information. And it's going down like that. Shout out to his brother Shoebox as well. This has been a story of money. It's your boy, SNTV. What's up, my nigga? You the hardest nigga. Nigga, I'm from on D Block, nigga. You got DCL me. House, the real D Block. You gotta be What's the up, hardest happen? nigga I'm gonna talk to today. First things first, let's get into the intro. Some people told me I should explain what Money Ben Mike is. Ben is me, money is me, Mike is me. D Mark got that he. Uh... Ben is my soul. Mike the hustler to keep us together, but money the killer. He the crap leader. Money been crazy. My heart was poisoned with jealousy and suspicion. Thinking the thoughts of voices of niggas coming in, get me. Got me seeing folks stomping and marching, being a soldier. Niggas, I was on line with the rumors I want to roll with. Assassin is my label, I'm smoking niggas. I smoke with them, hunting my best friends. I'm busting that old homies. Bumbo told me, be careful about niggas you call your closest. Bitches will ride your dick if them niggas say you important. Bitch, I'm crazy, I'm Bishop. A fit the money chain, me. I'm a wolf with the rabies. We not the same beast. My lane gun tang, G, my gang bang. You bust the me in the water, I've been shark slaying. Cooking dope up like an artist, bitch, I'm serving paintings. Look, pussy, not a problem, I got hoes waiting. Look, beefing ain't an option, get your whole gang hang. I've been hanging with a demon, he the devil, man, man. Lane, use the wrong words, then we playing hang, man. Getting money, fucking hoes, charms on the same. I'm a vegan with the beefing, but money change things. Change thing, it's the shit dog. I get you up. I'm the shit dog. Don't get you not. It's better to be pissed off than pissed on. This the truth. This the shit to piss you off. It's the shit dog. I get you not. It's the shit dog. Don't get you not. It's better to be pissed off. Hmm. Oh y'all, they mark got that heat. Y'all thought I was gonna talk about that shit this time. Y'all wanna thought I was gonna talk about my family testified against me with my clothes on. My cousins that I got in the bed with, in the tub with. That was my rap group that I came up here to put on so we could finish our tape. They testified against me. That my baby mama put me in a fucked up situation to lose my life over my son. Cause her and her boyfriend fighting. Y'all thought I was gonna talk about that shit, huh? I've been in prison 12 years, only seen family once, Ryan. Seven years ago, I ran to bring my son up here to see me. I've seen my son twice in 12 years. I got seven or 12 years on side of the take for me. But y'all ain't think I'm gonna bring that type shit up.